Hi Tree Kindness, um, I understand that some of you had difficulty understanding how to do guess and check. So Mr. Gunai is going to go through this one example so that you can actually understand it. Okay, let's start with this question. Okay, there are 12 motorcycles and cars at a workshop. A lot of times students only see the word 12 motorcycles. They think there are 12 motorcycles. But actually you have to look at the word N. So underline the keywords. 12 motorcycles and cars at a workshop. That is the first total for the guess and check. Next, they say there are 28 wheels all together. So, there are 12 motorcycles and cars. There are 28 wheels all together. Okay, looking at this picture, you can see that cars usually have 4 wheels. Motorcycles have 2 wheels. This is an important information you need to know. Alright, next. Part A. They ask you how many motorcycles there are keywords part b how many cars are there keyword so we have underlined the keywords now we have to start with the headers we know there are motorcycles and cars we need to guess them so we need to find out the number of we look at the first word which is motorcycles let's use m as a letter so number of m capital m motorcycles once we find out, guess the number of motorcycles, we need to guess the number of wheels they have. So, number of M wheels. Next. Once we have the number of motorcycles here, we can find out the number of cars. Number of cars. Okay, I'm going to stop here for a while so that you can focus. Once we got the first three headers, let's work. We have 12 motorcycles and cars. Look at the number of items there. are. We have one group which is the motorcycle, one group which is cars. So we have two groups. We take the 12, we try to divide it by 2 which is 12 divided by 2 which will give us 6. So let's start with 6 motorcycles. If there are 6 motorcycles, we have 6 motorcycles times how many wheels? 2 wheels. So 6 times 2 will give you 12. Next, we already know that we have 6 motorcycles, right? If we want to find out the number of cars, we have a total of 12 motorcycles and cars. We minus 6 motorcycles, which will give you a remainder of 6 cars. Now, we can find out the number of... Sorry, we should have used C, right? We can find out the number of C wheels. So, there are 6 cars. So, we have 6 times... 4 wheels for each car, which will give you 6 times 4, 24. Now that we have this, the number of motorcycle wheels and the number of car wheels, we can find out the total wheels. So we have 12 plus 24, which will give us a total of 30. 6. If you know that if the equal sign is here, you need to bring it to the next line. Okay? Next, we need to check. This is the last part. Now, we look at 36. Okay? We check whether 36 is equal to 28. Is it? No. Okay, now we need to identify next thing. This 36, is it too big or too small? 36 bigger than 28, so it is too big. Now, if it is too big, do we need to have more cars or more wheels? If it is too big, we need to bring the number down. Because we need to bring the number down, okay, we will choose less cars which means we increase the number of motorcycles. If there are more motorcycles and less cars, this number 36 will drop. Let's see how it goes. So, because we need to bring the number down, we decide to have more motorcycles now. So instead of 6, we choose 7. Alright? Now, if there are 7 motorcycles, we have 7 times 2, which is equal to 14. 
if there are seven motorcycles, we have a total of twelve. We take twelve minus seven, which will be equal to five. If there are seven motorcycles, there should only be five cars. So there are five cars times four wheels, which is equal to twenty. So we have fourteen motorcycle wheels plus twenty car wheels which will give us 34 again equal sign must come to the next line are we getting closer is the number still too big yes it is still too big but are we getting closer yes we are getting closer but it's still too big so that means that we have to keep bringing down the number we have six seven now we're supposed to reach 30 28 do you think do you notice that this 36 is only reducing by two wheels if you notice that you need to bring down a bit more so maybe you can guess a higher number maybe instead of eight we go to nine wheels from nine motorcycles if there are nine motorcycles is nine times two which is equal to 18 if there are 18 motorcycle wheels okay then we know that there are 9 motorcycles we guessed. We have a total of 12. We take the 12, we minus the 9 motorcycles. We should be left with 3 cars. If there are 3 cars, it is 3 times 4 wheels, which will give you 12. Alright. Now, we have 18 motorcycle wheels and 12 car wheels, which means it is 18 plus 12. Which is equal to 30. Okay, but we are getting, even though we are still too far away, we still, we're almost getting closer. 36, we came down to 34, we came down to 30. That means we are going in the, the correct direction. It is still too big, but our number is getting closer and closer to the number. So next, we try 10. Yes, we have more motorcycles so that we have less cars so 10 motorcycles times 2 should give us 20 and we take the total which is 12 motorcycles and cars we minus the 10 which will give us 2 cars if there are 2 cars we have 2 times 4 wheels which will give us 8 wheels that means that we take Total of 20 wheels for motorcycles and 8 wheels for cars, which means it is 20 plus 8, which will give us 28. Do you notice that this is exactly the same as this 28 wheels? That means we have gotten our answer. So is it correct? Yes. Next, they ask you how many motorcycles there are. So look under the M, number of M. So 10 is the number of motorcycles. Okay, if you are in class, I told you that you circle the number. So number of motorcycles, here I will highlight it in green. And how many cars are there? There are a total of, number of cars, total of only two cars. Now you have to write the sentence. Okay, now there are 10 motorcycles. Right, part A. And part B, there are two cars. Okay, I hope this has helped you. Alright, goodbye.